Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about multiple linear regression. In my previous videos, I've talked about the uh, data preprocessing, linear regression and assumptions of linear regression. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the multiple linear regression. So first of all, uh, before I jump into the practical implementation in our programming language, let's discuss like what's a, like some theoretical concept about it so that you'll not be finding it difficult to understand the uh, the, the, the codes that I'm going to use in my R programming language. So let's discuss the difference first, the dif difference between simple and multiple linear regression. In the case of simplest form of linear regression, you know, this is a simple linear regression in which we used to have a simple or a single input variable for the output variable. That we have a, a single x, single y, right? We have a y uh, tilde x, we specify in this way, no? dependent variable, we specify a dependent variable, then tilde sign, then the independent variable, which is one in number. But in the case of multiple linear regression, this y tilde, it will be x1 plus x2 plus x3. It means there will be more than two, two or more than two predictors or two or more than two independent variables. This is the meaning, right? So why multiple linear regression? Why it is required? So let's suppose, let's take one example. Let's suppose you want to estimate the uh, price of a certain house you want to buy. And we these are some of the independent variables or the predictors, the floor area, age of the house, distance from your workplace, crime rate of the place. It means we are having more than one, one independent variables are available. And these factors is going to affect the house price positively, right? For example, more the area, more the price. So that's the reason we're going to use the multiple linear regression. So the question maybe arises, like why not to use uh, running, why not to use uh, the simple linear regression for that, right? So let's discuss the drawback of the simple linear regression. So running separate simple linear regression will lead to different outcomes when we are interested in just one. In addition to that, there may be an input variable that is itself correlated with or dependent on some other predictor or independent variable. So this can cause wrongful predictions and unsatisfactory results. That's why we're gonna go with the multiple linear regression. In this example, we are having three advertisement uh, media one is uh, it's TV, radio, newspaper, and we're gonna see how these are affecting my sales. The last one is dependent variable, the sales, right? So in a simple uh, linear regression, we're gonna use, uh, like we're gonna only test out the each uh, media affecting the sales with leaving the other two. It means we're not, not, not studying about the how all three combined is going to affect the, uh, this media on the sales, it means how they are uh, like affecting my sales, right, together. So that's why the multiple linear regression solve the problem by taking account of the all the variables in a single, single expression. And you will find that this expression of the multiple linear regression is just the extension of the simple linear regression, okay? In which instead of one x, I'm gonna have multiple x available which are my independent variables and this uh, beta is my corresponding slope coefficient. For this uh, data set, TV, radio, newspaper sales, this is my equation. The sales is my dependent variable which is coming on left equal to on right side we have the TV, radio, newspaper and multiplied by their corresponding slope coefficients. So this is a little theory about the multiple linear regression. For today's uh, uh, this experiment, this practical, I'm going to use this data set in which I'm going to have total five columns and the first four columns are my independent variables and last one which I'm going to uh, like predict which is my profit. So profit, uh, I want to see that how my R&D spend uh, administration, marketing spend and state is correspond to my or is how they are affecting my profits. This is my uh, today's problem statement. And in this case, like there's a one little problem in this data set that the state column is not a numeric. Okay, it's a categorical column in which I've got three categories, New York, California, Florida. It means after loading this data set, I need to first encode into a uh, numerical value so that it can be applied, like it can be used in the multiple linear regression. All right, let's get started. So I've already opened up my uh, R Studio. So let's now uh, get your data first loaded. So I'm gonna write it here. My data set equal to, I'm gonna use read.csv. It is available in my uh, D drive. So I have to give the path here. Okay, D then 50 startups is my data set name, startups and dot CSV. Okay, it is done and then I have to give the header as well because it's having header available in the data set. Done, so let's check out my data set. So my data set is this, all right. So as I've already told you, state column has a, a problem. So let's encode it. And we all know that uh, when we have a categorical data available, we're gonna use the 
uh, factor. So my data set, uh, then dollar, then the state column, state equal to, okay, factor I'm going to use for categorical data factor, and then I'm going to use my data set dollar state, okay, and then I have to give my levels, the three levels available, which are New York, California, and Florida. So I have to give one by one New York, okay, New York available, then followed by California, okay, California, and then I have to give the last one, which is Florida, okay, and now last thing is left, which is my labels. So labels I have to give, I'm going to encode it into a three things, three values, one comma, two comma, three. All right, we are done. So you can now check your uh, updated data set. This is now you can check the state has been encoded as per the requirement. Moving further, now we need to split the data into training and testing as we did in the case of uh, your uh, simple linear regression. Same steps are available. In case if you are joining me in this video, I want you to please watch my previous video in which I've already explained the meaning of this library, CA tools, okay, set.steed, set.seed123. I'll be putting the uh, link in my description box in case you joined me in this video. So split equal to sample dot split. Okay. Okay. It is not double S sample dot split. And then I have to give here, first of all, I have to give data set name. Data set name is my data set done dollar my uh, dependent variable, which is profit. I'm going to divide this data set into two parts, uh, 80, 20. So I'm going to use split ratio, split ratio I'm going to use is 80%. Done. Okay. So let's now uh, define the training set and testing set. So I'm using here train set equal to, I'm going to use here a subset function, subset uh, of what? Subset of your data set, which is my, my data set. And I have to write it here, split equal to true. And it will be false for my train set split equal to true it is for my training means 80 percent will go to training okay and the same thing will come and instead of this i'm gonna have my test set okay test set is going to have split equal to false so data has been divided across two things train set and test set so let you can check train set this is my train set and this is my test set 80 20 all right done Afterwards, what we do now, let's now fit the multiple linear regression to the training set. For this, I'm going to use the variable regressor equal to LM. LM is my linear model. Okay. And then I have to use the parameter first formula. Although in the linear regression, the simple formula was, uh, formula was y tilde x in which y was dependent variable, x is my independent variable. But now, as I've already told you that now we are having more than one independent variables available. So it means it will be y tilde x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 and so on. Okay. It means like, uh, let me give you one little hint here. Okay. If I'm uh, specifying, this is the simple linear regression. Okay. In the case of the, uh, this multiple, I have to use this in which x1, x2, x3 are nothing but the, uh, are the R&D spend administration, marketing spend and state respectively. It, be, it, it, it is the uh, addition of four things. So shortcut method is in this case, Y in my case is profit. Y in this case is profit. And after tilde, instead of defining all the four variables, what you can do is you can simply use dot. It's a shortcut. Dot is representing all my independent variables. All right. So data equal to training set, train, set that's it it is done it's that easy all right so we are done with this uh, implementation last step is we need to predict the test set results for that i'm going to use y prediction means uh, what's on my y right uh, for this i'm going to use the predict function okay in the predict function first of all let's load your regressor what you have done in the previous step Afterwards, new data, new data equal to, it will be my test set, test set, done. So let's check out the results what I got, okay, let's compare with the original. 
this is my prediction results okay uh, this is my prediction i'm just predicting my test set results in which these are my profits okay these are my profits let's check out let's compare it with your test set test set just check out here i'm getting 17173981 uh, the original was 182901 okay second one is 172655 it, it was 166187 so this is how you can compare your results with the original one all right i hope you must have understood the concept of multiple linear regression in case something is not clear please do comment on my video uh, right so i'll be now checking out and i'll be see you in next video thanks for watching guys